Hi everyone, this is Scott Morrison, Prime Minister of Australia, and I'm here to talk to you about the economy. I know most of you watching this are probably hard-working, quiet Australians who don't have much time for the leftist leanings of YouTube, so I'll get straight to the point. The Australian economy is in ripper shape. Everything's going exactly as planned. Now you can safely turn off this video and head back to work knowing that the economy is in tip-top shape under my leadership and the leadership of the Liberal Party of Australia. And that's what good Australians do. Heads down, bums up, mouths shut. Quiet Australians don't waste their time listening to Labor propaganda on YouTube. The Australian Labor Party and their friends the Greens don't know what they're talking about when it comes to the economy. Quite frankly, they don't know what they're talking about full stop. The only people who know anything about anything are members and supporters of the Liberal Party of Australia. We're the only ones who are qualified to keep the Australian economy afloat, and I think that's been proven time and time again. As I said, if you're one of the millions of quiet Australians watching this, do us all a favour, head back to work, pay your taxes, and let me do the hard job of managing the Australian economy. If you work hard, keep your opinions to yourself, and put all of your trust in the federal government under my leadership, you're the perfect Australian, and there's absolutely no need for you to continue watching this video. Until next time, take care. For those of you who are still watching, I suppose you are one of the small percentage of Australians who are still not convinced of my credentials. So in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about some of the recent highlights of the Australian economy and prove to you beyond a shadow of a doubt that there is absolutely nothing to worry about. I can guarantee you that by the end of this video, not only will you agree with me, but you will realise that the only rational way forward is to become a quiet Australian by voting Liberal. Anyway, on to the economic highlights. Interest rates. Under my watch, the cash rate has gone down substantially, making it more affordable for regular Australians like yourself to get into the housing market. With lower interest rates, you can now afford to get a bigger mortgage, allowing you to buy a more expensive house. As you can see in this graph, the total amount of home loans in Australia has been steadily increasing and is now up to about $1,800 billion. That's $1.8 trillion. Yes, thanks to me and my leadership team, we've allowed regular Australians to buy houses that they would never have been able to afford under Labor. Now I know there are some naysayers out there who say that this level of debt is not good for Australia, but let me dismiss that notion straight away. When people have a big mortgage, it instills the key Australian values that I mentioned earlier. They work harder as they have a larger debt to pay back, and they keep quiet because they simply don't have the time to stick their noses in issues that don't concern them. Yes, quiet Australians are the best Australians, and the best Australians have a huge mortgage. GDP. You can see here that IMF growth forecasts for Australia are the envy of the world. Of the 12 largest advanced economies in 2020, we'll be leading the pack at a staggering 2.26% growth. Some naysayers might tell you that if we calculate it on a per capita basis, Australia is actually last due to our rapidly growing population. But ignore them. They're just jealous of quiet Australia. Speaking of population growth, again, Australia is the envy of the world. Not only are we the fastest growing advanced economy, we also have the the fastest growing population. Clearly people want to move here because they know just how great Australia truly is. They understand that my style of leadership is superior to their home countries, and that as long as they stay quiet and get a large mortgage, then they'll be welcome here with open arms. Ah, the Australian dream. It truly is enviable. Public sector overhaul. As part of my ongoing plan to make the federal government more efficient, sometimes I have to make tough decisions. However, this decision was easy. I had to cut the Department of Communications and the Arts and merge it with the new and improved Department of Infrastructure, Transport, Regional Development and Communications. As you can see, I've removed Arts from the name, as quite frankly, quiet Australians don't have time for art. Art is something you do in preschool or kindergarten. It's not something that Australian adults like to do. And certainly no hard-working Australian wants their taxpayer dollars being squandered on something that doesn't benefit the Australian economy in a direct and tangible way. People like Tim Minchin would have you believe that there's more to art than just finger painting. He even tried to equate art with democracy. But I think we all know, and I think I speak for all quiet Australians here, Tim Minchin should leave the politics to the professionals and stick to writing silly songs, songs that this government will no longer support. Furthermore, you have to ask yourself, can you really trust a man with long hair? I think the answer is obvious. Journalists. 
As you know, journalists are the antithesis of quiet Australia. They're noisy, they're rude, they interrupt me when I'm speaking. There's no place in modern Australia for so-called press freedom. The federal government has the right to keep secrets, and it's my duty to make sure that nosy little journalists who attempt to steal our secrets are punished accordingly. As I've said before, and I'll say it again, it never troubles me that our laws are being upheld. My team and I were elected by the quiet Australians to get the job done. By journalists constantly interrupting my job, they're directly interrupting my ability to improve the Australian economy. Everything that I've just said about journalists, you can also apply to protesters. Protesters are the antithesis of quiet Australia. They're noisy, they're rude, they interrupt me when I'm speaking, there's no place in modern Australia for so-called freedom of assembly. My team and I were elected by the quiet Australians to get the job done. By protesters constantly interrupting my job, they're directly interrupting my ability to improve the Australian economy. Which would you prefer? A thriving Australian economy or some left-leaning hippie protesters running amok on the streets blocking your trip to work? I think we all know the answer. Anyway, as I said to you earlier, and I think you understand now, the Australian economy is in ripper shape. I think I've proven to you beyond a shadow of a doubt that there is absolutely nothing to worry about. I think you now realise that the only way forward is by becoming a quiet Australian and voting for the Liberal Party of Australia. Work hard get a mortgage, and keep your mouth shut. That's the Australian dream. Thank you for watching.